Hi, my name is Jonathan Wilson Hartgrove. I'm the author of The Wisdom of Stability. I'm a person who's shaped by this mobile culture that we live in. I heard God calling me to stay put and to put down roots. I think it was kind of a longing for community, a longing to belong to a place. And maybe that's why you want to do this study, because you want to go deeper. You want to know what it means to grow and to know people better. I hope that this book is an opportunity for you to take a next step in that journey. It's an invitation, really, to learn from ancient wisdom about uh, what it means to stay put in a particular place. We have people who realize that it takes a commitment to stay in a place in order to do battle with the evil thoughts that come up that really distract us from the life that God's calling us to. Ama Theodora, one of the desert mothers, she told a story about a monk who was leaving a community and uh, on his way out another one of the brothers stopped him and asked, uh, is it on my account that you're leaving? Because if it is, I go before you wherever you're going. I think it's that kind of wisdom that sort of sees that you know, the struggles that we have with other people, the struggles that we have in any particular place, have a lot to do with what's going on inside of us. And until we stop and deal with that, there's not much of a chance that we're going to get to grow and to move forward in the life that God has for us. Once we've decided to stay put, once we've given ourselves to a community, there are all sorts of challenges that come up around that too. Who hasn't thought at some point, if I could just be somewhere else, I'd be more appreciated, or if I could just be somewhere else, I could make more of a difference. There's a point at which if you really want to learn to love your neighbor as yourself, if you really want to grow in the life of faith, you have to actually know some people and be known by some people. I hope that this wisdom will give you a chance to, to deal with some of those things too and to see how taking some time to sit with that and to pay attention uh, to the place where you are, to pay attention to the gifts that God has already given you and the people uh, who you're with can be a way forward in the life that you're called to. The practice of stability with a, a few people in the place uh, where I've committed myself in, in Durham, North Carolina has been a, a great gift to me and has uh, given me a chance to be known by other people, uh, as scary as that can be, because when people really know you, you can't hide behind your masks or behind your performances. You have to be there and you have to learn what it means to be forgiven. The book moves towards thinking about what are the fruit that stability offers, uh, not just for ourselves, but for the life of the world. And so I hope you'll have a chance to talk and pray together about what kinds of fruit might come out of the community that you're part of. Thank you.